Hello good day viewers, it is almost a month that Ojok's online math class solved this particular problem where he got his final answer as 29 and I commented, I am thinking of other solutions and he said, okay sir, I would love to see other solutions sir, thank you so much. Alright, so in this tutorial we are going to dive into finding other solutions. So one thing you should know about mathematics is that it is guided by instructions. Suppose this question stated that solve this particular problem in the set of real numbers. So you see there is a restriction in this case. But in a case where the question stated that solve this particular problem without giving you any instruction, you are expected to provide all the solutions including the complex ones. Alright, let's get started. Um, first of all, I would like to take this time to the other side, leaving only the square root of x minus 4 to the power of 30 and this is equal to positive 125 next i know that 125 is the same thing as 5 to the power of 30 so this is the square root of x minus 4 to the power of 30 equals 5 to the power of 30 next i would like to clear this square root by squaring both sides once you square the left hand side, you're going to be left with x minus 4 raised to the power of 30. And this is equal to 5 to the power of 30 raised to the power of 2. So we have just squared both sides. But you should know that according to one of the laws of indices, you can always switch these powers. So we can rewrite it as x minus 4 raised to the power of 30 equal to 5 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 30. We have just switched the exponents. Next, I know that 5 squared is 25. So this is x minus 4 raised to the power of 30. And this is equal to 25 to the power of 30. You can now see that the exponents are the same. In this case, you can equate the bottom right. But I told you in my previous lesson that whenever you have equal exponents, please do not equate the basis because sometimes you could obtain other solutions. But whenever the basis are the same, you are free to equate the exponents. You see the difference between them? So if you equate the basis, you have x minus 4 equal to 25. And once you take this one to the other side, it becomes positive. Therefore, x is equal to 29. But 29 is not the only solution. Therefore, we are not going to apply this. But had it been, we are given a condition to solve only x in the set of real numbers then this is fine, but well, we're not going to apply this. Instead, let me take this one back to the left. We have x minus 4 raised to the power of 30 minus um, 25 raised to the power of 30, and this is equal to 0. What can you see? Difference of two cubes. What can you remember about difference of two cubes? If you have a uh, to the power of 30 minus b to the power of 30, this is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared. This is just the factorized version of difference of two cubes. And we're going to apply the same thing here for which x minus 4 is our a and 25 is our b. Therefore, from here, we can factorize this as um, a minus b. a is this one b is this one so we have x minus 4 as a the minus b which is 25 you see that then you multiply by a squared that would be x minus 4 squared x minus 4 squared then plus a b this times 25 right so we have x minus 4 multiplied by 25 then b squared that is 25 squared 25 squared and we're going to set everything to be equal to zero because to the right hand side we have zero right so let's further simplify this minus 4 minus 25 that is minus 29 so this is x minus 29 first factor then the second one let us expand this one the expansion of this binomial term is first term squared, that is x squared, then 2 times x times negative 4, that is negative 8x, then negative 4 squared, that is 16 positive, then plus um, 
25 times x that is 25x minus 4 times 25 is 100 then plus um, 25 to the power of 2 is 625 625 and this is equal to 0 let us further simplify this we have x minus 29 multiplied by let me see where are the like terms we have negative 8x we have positive 25x if you combine them together you get positive 17x so this is x squared plus 17x then we have the constants um, 16 minus 100 plus 625 that will give us 541 we have 541 and the whole of this equal to zero you see that we have two factors we're going to set each to be equal to zero so x minus 29 is equal to zero o x squared plus 17x plus 541 equal to zero from the first factor you can see that x is equal to 29 once you take negative 29 to the other side so this is our first solution and the other solutions will come from this quadratic equation where we're going to expect two other solutions making three solutions so let me take this down and solve it separately so this is the quadratic equation the leading coefficient is one which is the coefficient of x squared then the coefficient of x is 17 and the constant is 541 so our formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus into square root of b squared minus 4 multiplied by a multiplied by c divided by 2 multiplied by a that is 2a right so let's plug in everything here x is equal to minus b b is 17 if you negate it it becomes negative 17 plus or minus into square root of b squared that is 17 squared minus 4 multiplied by a which is 1 multiplied by c which is 541 all divided by 2 times 1 let's simplify x is equal to minus 17 plus or minus into square root of 17 squared is 289 minus 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times 541 will give us 2164 2164 divide by 2 times 1 is 2 this is equal to negative 17 plus or minus into square root of 289 minus 2164 that is negative 1875 that is 1875 divide by 2 we are almost done um you know that this is square root square root of negative 1 is i so we can take it out this is negative 17 plus or minus square root of 1875 multiplied by i divide by 2 but I know that 1875 is the same thing as 625 times 3. So this is negative 17 plus or minus into 625 multiplied by 3. Then times i divided by 2. And square root of 625 is 25. So we can bring the 25 outside. This is negative 17 plus or minus. Uh, 25 multiply by square root of 3 then i divide by 2 and hence these are the other values of x which we can split into x equal to minus 17 plus 25 root 3 i divide by 2 and the other value of x is negative 17 minus 25 square root of 3i divided by 2. I remember we have of 10 uh, the first one which is 29. 29. So these are the three values of x that can satisfy that particular equation. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.